Ever wondered how the world of living organisms functions? What sets them apart and what they all have in common? Welcome, curious minds, to a captivating exploration of life's vibrant tapestry. Today we'll delve into the intricate mechanics of life, unraveling the mysteries of the living world in a fun and engaging Q&A session. This session is designed to enlighten you about the various characteristics and processes of living organisms, from photosynthesis to respiration, and from growth to reproduction. We'll be presenting a fascinating mix of multiple choice questions and fill in the blanks to keep you on your toes. These questions won't just test your existing knowledge, but also introduce you to some new and intriguing facts. So sit back, relax, and prepare to dive into the wonderful world of biology. As we embark on this journey of discovery, remember, every question is a door to new knowledge. Get ready to challenge your knowledge and learn something new. Let's dive right into our first set of questions. Are you ready? Question 1. Which characteristic is not common to all living organisms? Is it A. Respiration, B. Photosynthesis, C. Growth, or D. Reproduction? Pause for a moment and think about it. The correct answer is B. Photosynthesis. Not all living organisms can perform photosynthesis. For example, animals like humans, dogs, and birds cannot make their own food using sunlight. However, all living organisms need to respire, grow, and reproduce to survive. Moving on to question two, which process creates energy in organisms? Is it A, growth, B, nutrition, C, reproduction, or D, respiration? Take a moment. The correct answer is D, respiration. Our bodies break down food into smaller molecules through digestion. During respiration, these molecules combine with oxygen to release the energy our bodies use for various activities. Question three, can you identify the chemical used to identify carbon dioxide in the laboratory? Is it A, condis, B, lime water, C, water, or D, coconut oil? The correct answer is B, lime water. Lime water turns milky when it reacts with carbon dioxide, indicating its presence. Now question four, which gas is emitted during the process of photosynthesis? Is it A, oxygen, B, carbon dioxide, C, nitrogen, or D, hydrogen? The correct answer is A, oxygen. During photosynthesis, plants take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen as a byproduct. This oxygen is then used by animals for respiration. And finally, question five, what's the most suitable equipment to observe the microorganisms in water? Is it A, telescope, B, compound microscope, C, magnifying glass, or D, binocular? The correct answer is B, compound microscope. Microorganisms like bacteria and protozoa are too small to be seen with the naked eye. A compound microscope allows us to see these tiny organisms clearly. Well done. Let's move on to the next part of our session. Now let's switch gears to some fill in the blank questions. Our first fill in the blank question is, the energy needed for photosynthesis is supplied by, pause for a moment to think about it. The answer is sun. Yes, sunlight provides the energy needed for photosynthesis. For example, plants use sunlight to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose, a type of sugar and oxygen. Next up, there is a limit of growth within plants. Pause for a moment. The answer is isn't. Unlike animals which have a fixed size they can grow to, plants can continue to grow throughout their lives under suitable conditions. So, there isn't a limit to their growth. Moving on. Most of the animals are... Take a moment. The answer is heterotrophic. Heterotrophic animals cannot produce their own food and rely on other organisms for nutrition. For example, humans, lions, and snakes are heterotrophic because they consume plants or other animals to obtain energy. Our next question is, a characteristic which can be seen in animals but cannot be seen in most plants is, think about it, the answer is locomotion. Locomotion refers to the ability to move from one place to another. Most animals have specialized structures like legs, wings, or fins that allow them to move, whereas plants are generally rooted in the ground and cannot move in the same way. And our final fill-in-the-blank question, an essential requirement for photosynthesis is, the answer is, carbon dioxide. Photosynthesis requires three main ingredients, carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight. Carbon dioxide is absorbed from the air through tiny pores in the leaves called stomata. Great job! We're nearing the end of our session. That brings us to the end of our Q&A session today. We've explored some intriguing aspects of living organisms, from photosynthesis to respiration, and from carbon dioxide detection to microscopic exploration. Each question we've answered together reveals the intricate and fascinating world of life around us. 
So, continue your journey of discovery, dive deeper into these topics, and uncover even more about the world we inhabit. Remember, knowledge is power. Keep questioning, keep learning,